we spent a lot of money. So Heather and I decided to hit the super plastic store in New York while we were there for New York Comic Con and I spent a ridiculous amount of money, at least for me. Like something I don't usually buy or collect. I dropped like 500 bucks. Yeah, it was insane. We went crazy, but super stoked about these purchases. It's really easy to spend a lot of money there because there's a oh, lot yeah. of cool shit. In fact, there was like five or six other things I wanted to buy while I was there, but I had to get a little control over myself. If you're gonna do something like this and you're gonna buy it at the Super Plastic Store in New York, make sure you get yourself an Uber outside so you can take it all back because these boxes are huge. Yeah, we ended up walking to get boba afterwards and I think I probably hit like 20 pedestrians with my big bags. <laughs> are you shocked that Heather had to stop for boba? Okay, you got some too. We had a little boba adventure. That's a whole add-on to all of this. We went to a boba place, and I think it was the best boba I've ever had in my entire life. Heather's first order was thrown away. Yeah, I then, didn't like it. And then she got her second order, and she said, meh. Listen, it I got... It was very good. I got my spot, and it's here in Maryland, and it's hands down the best boba I have ever had. And I've had boba now in Tennessee, in Georgia, in North Carolina, and all over Maryland. And the place that I go to, and New York, the place we go to is like... It's good, the but the New York place was f***ing awesome. Maybe to you. You liked your weird rice pudding boba. I got rice on my drink. It was, <laughs> it was the weirdest weird. thing. It was purple rice, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, it was called purple rice. Oh my god, it was I amazing. And anyway, we're getting all caught up on our boba adventure. No, so, I wanted to talk more about it. You know what I didn't like about the boba? What? So they didn't have Thai tea on the menu. That's my go-to. Separately, they had it. It was like their Halloween drink because Thai tea is orange. So they don't always have Thai tea? No. What? Yeah, so that's why I ordered like the drink that I didn't like at first because I didn't see Thai tea. But then I was like, hey, do you have anything like Thai tea? After I had to throw my first order away and he was like, oh yeah, we got Thai tea. I was like, what the f So I guess it's not normal to have Thai tea at a boba. We are getting so wrapped anyway, up into no, this. Anyway, no, let me tell you what I didn't like about it. Since it's like a special drink, they like did it up. So they had normal boba, but then they had these big jelly boba. I saw those, those yeah. are weird. I told the guy, or I asked the guy, I was like, how do I get those in the straw? Cause they were like this big and the straw's like this big. Did he hand you a spoon? No, he said that's jelly and it breaks up. Oh. And it did, but it was gross. <laughs> It's really hard to make her happy. I can tell you that from experience. No, it really isn't, but when it comes to boba, it is. Sorry, little boba corner place in New York. I thought your boba was amazing, but Heather, on the other hand, not a happy customer. I was... I, I'm, I'm just critical. Okay. okay, super plastic. So we went to the super plastic store. It's on the corner. I don't even know what street it is. It's in New Hold York. Hold on. Listen. <sighs> we... We have a phone right here. <laughs> I like how I collect no information. I just say F it. We're making a video. Yeah, you do this all the time. Is it on the bag? Like, look at these Probably. ridiculous bags. How cool is that? It's on Prince Street. Prince, and yeah. So go to Prince Street and buy your super plastic figures. So hold on, really quick. I'm looking at photos on Google and it looks like they change up the graffiti outside of it because that was different when we were there. Yeah, it actually had graffiti that looked like the weekend figures because the weekend teamed up with them. Yes, they did do a weekend collaboration. They, oh my gosh, the, the store is just so f***ing cool. I it is get cool. over it. Well, here's video of the store. Check it out. And when you come back, we're going to have some figures to unbox. So the store was impressive. I really liked it. And I think just stepping inside of the store made me want to just buy everything. Yeah. I do not collect super plastic. However, I think things have changed because now I'm following them. Well, now we 
we do. Yeah, now we do. I've I been found following him. them forever. Well, there's a new figure. It's like pink, and he has like an axe and a bag. Yeah, it's uh, it's their money. Is it the money bags figures? I think so, but it's so cool, and I really want it. I had such a hard time figuring out what I wanted while I was in there, but we ended up landing on three really cool figures. The first one I'm gonna show you is what Heather chose. Yes, and I am actually really excited about this. I don't know, all I know is some of these characters are in Fortnite. So this is the one that Heather picked out. It's this guy. Down in the bottom, there's all sorts of stickers and things that they give you. Ooh. And there's a 15% off. What the hell? I didn't even know. Look, these are postcards. Man, I'm, well. gonna, I'm gonna go buy that. If you don't of... drip, you drown. Loose lips get kissed. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Look, look, they packed in all sorts of different ones in here. That's awesome. How cool is that? Little postcards. So this is called Brightmare and it's by Alex Party. And if you don't know who Alex Party, he's actually most well known for his album covers. Oh, interesting. He's done a lot of work for the used. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And you, you know, love the use. I love the use. So not only has he done their albums. Hold on, let me make sure I get this one right. So not only has he done their album in Love and Death, which is the one where it's almost like a tree with a heart, the okay, red heart. I you know what I'm talking one? about? Yeah. He also does like individual song artwork as well. And I think his most recent one, he did album art for In Flames. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, one of their new albums. Did you know he did all this before buying this figure? Yes. Oh, you did know that? No, I had no idea who he was. <laughs> so inside, there's a little cool sticker. I like that. That's fun. That's awesome. Yeah. So here oh my he goodness. is. Holy <laughs> So his name is Brightmare. Brightmare. So look at this guy. I love that face. He's so creepy looking. I, I like the fact that there are no eyes. I think that's what makes it the creepiest in the fact that it doesn't have eyes on it. How weird is that, huh? Yeah, I love him. He's going straight on my desk. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like an old Mickey Mouse cartoon or something, but it's like Creepy. up. Yeah, <laughs> old Mickey Mouse cartoon, but in a nightmare on acid. This is cool. I know. I love the rainbows and stuff. There was a second version of this character it while we were there. It reminded me of Twister. He had a bunch of dots on him. He was white with a bunch of polka dots. That's right, he was a polka dotted one. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, one, this one drew me in. Yeah, he's cool. And then we got, look at this. Look at this artwork on the side of this bag. I love that. The aesthetic is everything to me. I love when you get these really cool like artworks and things on bags and on boxes. But this is the second character we purchased. This is, I believe it's, it's a kid plastic? Kid super plastic. And what I like about the box art, check this out. So super plastic on the sides. And then on the back, it actually has his back. It reminds me of those old t-shirts from back in the day where you had yes. Bugs Bunny. Yes. Remember those? Or Taz. Or Taz. So these figures are pretty big, right? I mean, and They're pretty big huge. boxes. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna wanna get yourself an Uber if you go to this place and buy stuff. Cause you're gonna have to take it back. You're gonna have to take it back right away. Oh my God, the little paintbrush is separate. Oh, that's cool. So there's a sticker of him, of this character. That's I cool. love it. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh man, he's so fun. How cool is this figure? He's badass. I love the cape. I love the, like this cape kind of flushing up. Fl fl flushing, right? Flushing? What the f am I saying? <laughs> I love this character and I love his cape, how it's flushing up. Am I saying that right? I mean, whatever I, is I, ha whatever's happening here. I think here. you can just Look, say whatever. It looks you like want. he has a fan in front of him, and it's yeah. like you know, what I, you know what I mean. It's he's like Marilyn his, Monroeing it. Yeah, he's Marilyn Monroeing it. Heather pointed out that while we were in New York, we could have gotten the exclusive. Apparently, this is the common version, and there was a New York only exclusive of this figure that I didn't didn't even realize. But it was green, right? It was like desert colors, and he actually had cactuses on his cape, which is weird that it was a New York exclusive because that reminds me of Arizona. Yeah, that is weird. So there's. 1,666 of those. So it's Kid Super Plastic Desert by Kid Super NYC Edition. So Kid Super is the person who made this thing. That is so neat. I think, see, Super Plastic is really weird. I was trying to do some research on them and they have like these digital characters. And I think Go Googiemon or Gujimon or whatever is one of those digital characters. Like I don't think it's actually a person. Really? It's really weird. I don't understand it. And I hope someone who's watching this has more knowledge of Super Plastic because I would love to know how all of this works. Yeah, we went into this completely 
completely blind. We don't know a thing about it, but that's, no. I think, is what makes it fun. Yeah. Because it's something new, something we've never kind of collected before. Oh, you can just go ahead and knock it over and break it. Sure. So our friend Star actually sent us the Hool, is it the Hooligoons? Yeah, the Hooligoons. Yeah, last year, and I really liked them. And they had a new set this year. They had a glow in the dark set. They're super sick. Didn't buy them because I ended up finding all these guys. I might have to go back and, and buy them eventually. Hold on, look. Alex Party, okay. What's on the bottom of this foot, I wonder? It doesn't say, oh, Kid Super Studios. Mm. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what Kid Super Studios is. Do we know? It's a fashion label. Interesting, really. From Brooklyn, New York. Oh, that's cool. All right, maybe, so we're learning something. I don't may, know. Maybe, though. Th this is so weird because when I go to their Instagram, it's just fashion. There's nothing about the toys. Hmm. Or the, the figures. I shouldn't call them toys. Well, it's all designer stuff, right? Yes, see, Googiemon... Is that guy while keeping his identity a secret due to social media anxiety? Interesting. So there is really no information about him. No. He does have a TikTok and Instagram though. So the last piece that we have is really incredible. When we walked into the store, it was like a huge statue. It's humongous. Yeah, so you, you can buy your own for like eighty thousand. Yeah, you already saw it. Yeah, it's like eighty thousand dollars. But you already saw it in the video. This thing is incredible, and I bought it because it was just an eye catcher for me. Really creepy, weird, and interesting. Yeah, I love it, and I love the colors. Yeah, the colors are amazing on this thing. So apparently they made like a regular version and then also a black version of this thing, and it's called Sanctuary. It's humongous. It doesn't even fit in the bag. No, it doesn't, it's humongous. All right, so there he is. Look at this thing. And there's the back of it. So on this box, this is actually like embossed. And wow. so is super plastic right there. That's all embossed. That is incredible. I have a feeling this thing's gonna be nuts outside of the box. Not very heavy. Like it's, it, feel this. Feel how light this thing is. I carried it through New York. Yeah, I but I mean, it's incredibly light. Yeah. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see this thing out of the box. We already did. Why I know, you... but like in person and like in hand, it's weird. Glass. Okay, look at this. It's. Okay, this is in styrofoam. I guess they really don't want it to get broken, so that's cool. I mean, right, I don't blame so. them. This thing is like wild. So it comes with a sticker. The sticker is the black and white variant. So there's a black and white variant. Then there's a variant that sort of looks like a Mickey Mouse color. And then there's a black one. And then there's this white one. And this is what they had available when we were there. Look at this. This is insane. This is insane. I guess they're making a statement with this. I'm not entirely sure what the statement is. It does come across a little blasphemous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it not going to lie. Um, but, but it's, it's so cool, you can't not have it. But it's an interesting piece. I I'm, I'm, would really like to know more about it. It just caught my eye. I thought it was so weird. and It felt like a piece that if you had it in your home, people were going to ask questions about it. You know what yeah, I mean? But like we this, don't have any answers. We don't. But I mean, you got this guy, he's cool. You got this guy, he's cool. But this thing is just saying something. Like, this is saying something to me. And I don't know what it is yet. But it is wild looking, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I, I couldn't keep my eyes off it when I was inside of the store. I really like the white. Yeah. Like having like these gold pieces, it like makes it stand out like incredibly. Yeah. How in, mm. it's not that often on this channel that I'm like, my words are just not there. <laughs> like I have nothing to say. Usually I keep talking, but I don't know what to say. This is crazy. It does say super plastic. It's signed by, I guess, the creator. And then SSUR. What's SSUR? That's who it says the artist is, but it also okay. says Googiemon or Gujimon. Okay. I say, I don't know anything about super plastic. Please help. <laughs> right. So we bought three pieces that we know nothing about, but we just thought they were so interesting, fun, and cool that we had to have them. Yeah. I thought this little guy he, right here was like really fun, like superhero-y fun. Yes. It fits well with the aesthetic of what I collect. This guy is complete horror to me. So it fits with Heather, especially like all the rainbow stuff. Heather loves that as well. This thing we just bought because we're like, what the f*** is it? We have to own this. Like, yeah. We don't know what to do with this. So this is definitely something we'll put away during Thanksgiving and Christmas. But he looks really no, cool. No, he's a centerpiece. Here. He's a centerpiece. Oh, oh yeah. my God. I, I don't think so. That's incredible incredible i want to collect a lot more super plastic i mean that's my only takeaway from all of this i these I, are cool yeah
awesome. Stickers with all the figures, the bags are cool. Highly recommend you go and check out the shop in New York. It's really, really cool and fun. The guy that was there, it was his very first day on the job. Yes. And I just want to say, if anybody at Super Plastic is watching this video, I, I just want to mention that he was amazing. Yes. He was super helpful. He gave us all the information that we needed to know. Except what this means, but we didn't ask. We didn't know that. But he, uh, he was so great, and uh, I hope he's there the next time we go. Oh, yeah. He was super cool. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Wow. It's, it's so much different being outside the box. You know, this thing has been sitting in our home, in the box, in the bag, since we got back from New York. And all week long, I'm like, man, I really want to pull that thing out and take a look at it and see it, like, in hand. And here we are sitting before it, and I just... He's cool as shit. What a f***ing statement. Guys, we want to know what you think about all three of these. Also, what do you think about Super Plastic? Do you collect Super Plastic? Are you going to go check out the shop now that you've seen video? You've heard about the figures, you've heard about the company a little bit. We want to know all that and more in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for staying until the very end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Big Papa Tulan, Yazirai Castillo, Kevin Maxa, Joshua Lerndahl, Brendan Rowell, Ralphiesfunhouse.com, Matthew Mathias, Trina and Travis, Pop Alex 223 and David Palama. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, also hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. And you do not want to miss out on the content that we post every single day of the week. We also go live every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern. You don't want to miss out on that. That's where we have our most in-depth discussions with our audience. You can ask questions, you can comment, and we can have all sorts of fun together. Oh my God. Well, we missed that, didn't we? Hold on, you gotta hold the light up to this. Well, Heather pointed out that he has a uvula in the back of his throat. So that's a little secret tidbit of information that you probably should know before buying it. Yeah, so <laughs> honestly, like, even though I have him in hand, I didn't realize you can actually put your finger in his mouth. I knew that the teeth were molded, but I thought it was just like, they were molded and then it was on top of black. But you can like put your whole finger in his mouth. Like he has a, a that's uvula. Creepy. Yeah, that's great. It makes me love it even more. What a great way to end the video. Bye.